everybody welcome back to my channel today we're going to be talking about different ways to grow and maintain healthy hair on a budget so i've personally used all of these ingredients when i first started out but i'm going to walk you through a pre-poo shampoo conditioner deep conditioner a moisturizer as well as a gel so let's get started so we're going to start off with our pre-poo so a really good pre-poo to use for your hair is aloe vera gel or if you are um, someone who has easy access to a local local grocery store you can purchase the whole leaf for little to nothing but if you don't have that you can also buy the aloe vera leaf gel straight from the bottle it's already been processed and you don't have to do the extra work but this is really good to help moisturize your hair so usually what i do is i scrape all of the gel out of the leaf and i will put it in my vitamix blender to create sort of a, a you know a paste or a, a liquid so that i'm not wasting any of the gel because a lot of times it's really hard to apply the gel directly onto your hair from the leaf so i'm just blending that up and there you go you just apply it directly to your hair and so you guys i love aloe vera gel because i just love playing with the leaves like look at this wow yeah that's beautiful no but aloe vera gel was my go-to especially when i was first starting out with using you know my diy products or just sh trying to make um a a healthy and clean hair product for my hair starting out so the next product that i used heavily when i first started on my natural hair journey was coconut oil i really enjoyed this oil because it really helped prep my hair before i began my washing routine it just it softened my hair at the time and i don't use it as much but this is really a good alternative if you are looking for a good pre-poo. So next we have different shampoo and conditioner ideas for maintaining a really lean budget. So here we have bentonite clay and rasuo clay. A lot of people don't know this, but clays in um, ancient times were used to clarify and clean hair and they still are to this day and it's very common to do like a hair mask or a clay mask but little do you know you are cleansing your hair when you do a clay mask so these are a few clays that i use um and also i use french green clay but bentonite clay or razul clay is really good for this because it'll really get in there and clarify your scalp if you mix it with some aloe vera juice apple cider vinegar water it'll be it'll be good the next shampoo alternative is arrowroot powder or cornstarch or uh I forget the other powder but a lot of people don't know this you can use arrowroot powder to cleanse your hair it's a very active ingredient in dry shampoo so if you are someone who loves to use that arrowroot powder may be the one for you next is aloe not aloe vera sorry y'all <laughs> apple cider vinegar this 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 is the this is the key okay a lot of people don't know this but it really helps balance out the ph in your hair so if you are using a clay mask a lot of times people will follow it up with the apple cider vinegar because this can be used as a shampoo or a clarifier if you will so this is another good alternative if you are trying to get rid of a lot of buildup on your um, scalp next we have shampoo bar so you can have shampoo bars conditioner bars this is just the solid form of a traditional shampoo and i can show you all how to make your own if you are interested just let me know in the comments down below next we have our traditional you know shampoo conditioner these are the ones that i 
I grew up on, you know. So Aussie is a very inexpensive product. I think I paid only four dollars, four to five dollars for this entire bottle because this is essentially what I needed and it really helped me at the time. And we're on a budget, so even better. <laughs> So the other product that I use a lot is Head and Shoulders. So this particular shampoo is really it has a active ingredient of zinc oxide, which is very very good for your scalp. And me personally, I have had always had issues with my scalp and you know just sensitive scalp, and this really helps to um, just balance it out, give me relief. Especially after I've taken down my protective style, such as twist or braids, it really does help calm and soothe my scalp. Especially when I go in with um, a herbal rinse, just to get some pH, you know, get my pH balance, you know, intact after you know all of that shampoo. But this is another one that is really inexpensive, and I definitely do recommend it, especially if you have scalp and dandruff issues. So next we have our deep conditioners. So a lot of people don't know this, but honey as well as vegetable glycerin are really good humectants for making your own deep conditioner so we need humectants to help seal in any type of moisture whether that's water or if we're going in with a traditional conditioner vegetable glycerin honey these humectants will really help you know solidify all of that moisture and so a, a few you know recipes that I've used throughout my journey has been a honey oil and coconut cream deep conditioner and it really helps you can use bananas you can also use avocados so these are healthy fats that will really help with your deep conditioning process and then you can go in with a plastic uh what is this you guys shower cap not shower cap but yeah shower cap really but you can make your own like makeshift hot head if you don't have a, a dryer a hooded dryer or you know one of those microwavable hair hats you can what you can do is you can heat up a towel in the microwave and place that on top of your shower cap and wrap it up with a plastic bag or you can use a heavy towel sorry it's a lot going on but this is really it really helps this is like a makeshift hot head if you will next we have our moisturizers so for a very very long time until this day i am a huge advocate for using herbs and powders in your moisturizing products right so here we have marshmallow root which is really you can also make a hair gel out of marshmallow root it has a, it gives you a, a bit of a slip so this is really good for moisturizing your ski, uh, your hair and you can incorporate this in your your butters your oils you can do an, an oil infusion so another herb i have here is lavender which is you know i don't even have to rave on how good lavender is for your hair your your skin it's you know it's all around good herb and you can also do a herbal infusion and use that oil to moisturize your hair so a lot of people use the LOC method so liquid oil and a cream so for your liquid you should be using water you can do a, a water and oil mixture but this is a, a bottle that I use now but back in the day you guys I just used the plastic you know basic spray bottle and that's really all you need i'm just bougie but yeah i really love this this glass bottle because if i am using essential oils i am able to preserve that oil inside because it's an amber glass jar but a basic bottle will do next you can go in with almond oil but there are so many oils that you can use you can use apricot seed oil hemp seed oil 
it's it's like a plethora of oils that you can use but this one i use personally because it's an all-around you know universal oil you can use it in your shea butters when you make your whipped shea butter for your hair or you can just do a, a basic hot oil treatment where you use almond oil and a mixture of vitamin e rosemary a hobo oil you heat it up and then you quickly you just make it a, a a easy hot oil treatment and so another oil is like i said apricot oil which is really good for your skin and your hair i'll have a video coming out soon where i talk about these carrier oils more in depth but this these two oils are the powerhouses of cosmetic and hair oils next we have our essential oils so i know a lot of you are like how can i moisturize my hair with essential oils but let's hear me out hear me out <laughs> so if you combine your essential oils with oils such as almond oil apricot seed oil and you know a little shea butter that's a powerhouse you know hair butter that you can use and what I recommend is buying in bulk. Always buy in bulk because these products will last, you know, since six months and out, you know. So I always recommend that to friends and family. And so a lavender oil, a rosemary, and a rose hips is like a universal staple that should always be in your cabinet if you have it. Because these are oils that you can use for other products, not just your hair, but also on your skin. And next, we have the bread and butter of moisturizers. <laughs> so we have our butter. So mango butter, coconut butter, shea butter. These are universal ingredients that can be used for your body, for your hair, all around. These are things that I will always buy in bulk because you can use them for everything. And that's another tip that I have for you all. Pick ingredients that are multi-use. So shea butter, you can use it for your hair, your skin, your any all parts, as well as a oil. You can use that for your skin, your face. You can use it for your your body. You can use it in all types of body products such as scrubs, lip lip scrubs, anything. It's limitless. So I really enjoy these butters because I can infuse them with my herbal infusion infused oils and as well as essential oils because who doesn't want a body butter with lavender scent who who doesn't i know i do <laughs> Last but not least, we have our flax seeds. So you can actually boil these to create your own flax seed oil that will kind of help you create a, a styling gel, if you will. And I will be creating a video where I walk you all through this. But all in all, these ingredients that I have listed are, you know, very affordable. And if you have any questions and you really enjoyed this video, please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.